In order to make the booklet, we are going to need one black cardstock, or it could be any color you want. I've just chosen black. And uh, it's going to be, I've got this at 12 by 12, but what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut it down. So uh, traditionally, ATCs are 2.5 by 3.5, uh, and that includes the backing that it's on, which is why we cut our little white pages uh, to 2 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter. So now, if you think about it, um, we are going to go ahead and score. So come up to the first line here, and we are going to score three and a three and a half, and then move it along another three and a half, which makes it seven. And I want you to cut it there. So now you've got seven inches by twelve. So flip it over to the other side, and once again we are going to score. We are going to score at two and a half, another two and a half, which makes it five, another two and a half, which makes it seven and a half, and then another two and a half, which makes it ten. And cut that bit off. <laughs> Alrighty, so essentially you need a black cardstock that measures 10 inches wide by 7 inches uh, tall. And the next thing we need to do is burnish where we have just scored. Now, I would recommend that you burnish both ways. It will make the booklet easy to fold. So you've got that. So it's got in quarters this way and in half this way. So I want you to fold it in half, alrighty, edge to edge, and what I do want you to do is cut from the closed inside, not the open side, from the closed inside I want you to cut to the first score line. So, you're going to have something that looks like this, and this is how we're going to make our booklet. Alrighty, so the next thing we need to do is we need to apply our adhesive. And I want you to apply it as I am showing you now. This is how we are going to um, make our booklet. You are going to flip it in half and then you're going to push them together. All right. So I would recommend at this stage that you just ease this folding by once again just training your paper to go down. Flip it back and forth and reiterate those score lines and you will find you see here you will find things shifting out of alignment um, in which case you need to move things back realign them and then burnish properly because paper slides on top of each other so let's go ahead and get this down so the first thing I want you to do is put this corner to this corner. So we will remove that bit of white and then I also want you to just get this out of the way just a little. And we are going to corner to corner and then with your bone folder really make that really tight. Nice. Now the next thing is these inner ones. You're going to remove these. And at the same time, you are going to remove this one on the outside. 
you're going to make sure that these go corner to corner as well. So you hold this corner and this corner. Let's just down. So these two corners are stuck down. Then we pull this one off last. And then you gently push these together. Alrighty, so once you're happy with how your book is sitting, the next thing you need to do is just figure out um, the order in which you wanted to put your art in. So if you wanted to put those two together, that looks nice. Now, what we need to do is just do the cover, and what I thought was really cool was to use some of the string and put the word art on it. So, I figured about that much. Okay, so the next part is the fun part, uh, and that is to go ahead and grab your stickers. And I have some Tim Holt stickers here. Um, I've got clipping stickers, I think. Yeah, clipping stickers, and these are the Halloween. I have been using uh, the Halloween ones out of Halloween season because they're kind of a bit funny. Um, in a dark kind of way and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through now and try to find some interesting quotes. Of course you can use the ones in the regular packet, you, the one that says um, you know make this journey your own, perfectly happy, a lovely time, heart full of bright hopes, whatever you want to do um, and, uh, and yeah totally make it your own so that's what I'm going to do now. Alrighty, and there is my little ATC booklet made with um, made with string art um, and made to display my string art. And this is the swap that we'll be having um, in our smart group. So I hope this encouraged you or inspired you to try string art in tiny little format and make a little booklet to store it in and perhaps even swap it with some of your friends. Have a great day everybody and I'll see you in my next video.